It's race day for Guy Martin's human-powered boats. After being scuppered by weeds in his hometown of Lincoln... What did we do? About three miles an hour. The dog was quicker. Some hurried overnight rearrangements have brought the whole crew to the crystal clear Carsington water in the Peak District. We're confident. We're all confident, aren't we? We're all confident. The University of Lincoln team remain hopeful their machine will prove faster than the boat that was assembled in Guy's back garden. This is the vessel that will be used first today. Boat builder Mike Cook has refined the design by adding outriggers on the sides to ensure it won't roll over. All right, yeah. It's the first time this boat has ever been in the water with both the propeller and Guy. Nice. Look at him. A problem immediately becomes apparent. Yeah. His knees don't fit. Yeah. Can we give us the dremelier and do it here? Yeah, watch your head, mate. The remedy is yeah, simple. Right, shall I try that? Yeah. All right, sure. Yeah. Guy takes his machine for a low speed trial. The propeller pushes him forward and the outriggers stop him from capsizing, even in choppy water. <laughs> but the outriggers seem to be adding drag, preventing the boat from rising up on its foils. Look! I don't know if that was a hint of a bit of foil there. Is that a wave? Guy needs more speed to overcome the drag, something that can hopefully be achieved with a bigger gear. Another tooth or two wouldn't hurt, would it? The University of Lincoln team like what they've seen so far. Nice. There you go, sir. Looks impressive, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks promising. I hope it works. This gearing change might make a bit of difference. We'll get a bit more RPM out of the props, maybe, which then might create a bit more thrush, which then hopefully might get it on the fine. Mike also changes the angle of the front foil. Probably a couple of degrees. That's kind of effectively double what we'd normally have. If we can just get a little bit of lift out of it, it might make life a bit easier. It's a bit of evolution, isn't it? Change this, change that. It's just evolving. It's all great. Guy's race track awaits. We've mapped the course this morning. We found the best place on the lake is under the shelter of the dam wall there. The four big markers on the corners are 100 metres apart. So, fingers crossed, we have a really good run. The GPS gear is loaded in. Yes. Try not to touch the screen. OK. Any of it. <laughs> might turn off. That is a piece of kit, that is. Right. Thank you very much. Good work, guy. Play the prop. Guy heads out for his timed run. <laughs> right, come on, then. Come on. He aims for the start line and pedals as fast as he can. The boat is on the edge of foiling, but can't quite break clear of the surface. It means Guy is having to power through the drag of the water, which is exhausting. He crosses the finish line, totally spent. I couldn't do any more than that. I'm tasting blood there. I'm going for it. What an amazing experience, this whole thing. Hey, this is amazing how far we are and with the brains we've got. Look at the brains we've got and the effort that's been put in and we're still a country mile off. Watch your head, watch your head. Watch your head. Sorry, boy, sorry, boy. Sorry, boy. <laughs> but before his speed in the mono hull is revealed, the University of Lincoln catamaran is prepared to run, almost. Having learnt a lesson from Mike, they've decided to make the underside of their boat as streamlined as possible. They took a lot of the gubbins off from underneath Mike's idea. 
get rid of the nozzle around the prop. They're saying, give it a go. Everyone's willing. So um, we're going to try it over the same 100 metre course as we did Mike's um, and just see, see what happens. I haven't got a clue. As he cruises out to the course, the early signs look good. You've got so much less... Uh, so much less... Turbulence. Turbulence off right. the rudder now, it's unbelievable. Conditions are near perfect. Bit of ventilation on, I think. Beautiful, isn't it, eh? Beautiful. Right, come on. For the second time, Guy is off and pedalling as hard as he can. Well done, mate. That looked good. Good effort. Good effort. <laughs> yeah, I can see you. Well, a damn sight better than yesterday. Yeah. It looked absolutely fantastic. And uh, to be honest, Guy did a fabulous effort there. I don't think he'll be talking for a few minutes. We'll look forward to see what speed it was. Over. Surveyor Mike Hopkins analyzes the data from both runs to work out which was quicker. It's a nerve-wracking wait as everything is double-checked. Come on, Mike, come on. Enough of the suspense, boy. What's up? Come on, who did what? Right, yeah, we, we had the mono hull uh, earlier on. Yeah. And the best uh, speed that we got over the 100 metres with the atomic clock timing it was 5.54 miles per hour. And we had the catamaran from Lincoln University over the 100 metres did an average speed of 5.51 miles per hour. Wow. As tight as that. So very close. Well done, both teams. The single hold design won by just 0 0.03 miles per hour. A result so close that everyone feels they've had a modicum of success. That was fantastic, wasn't it? I was really, really surprised. I didn't think we had a chance, to be honest, but we seem to have pulled something out of the bag, and I'm really, really chuffed. A little bit of work last night, Jesus. The difference we've seen, it just makes it feel like it's, all the effort's been worth doing, and, and uh, I don't even care that it's pissing down with rain, to be honest. <laughs> it's been loads of fun, and give me the chance again, I'll do it again. I'm a big fan of chopping up and moving on. There's not a lot of point in being nostalgic about things like that. It's an experimental thing. If it's not quite as you want, you make it how you want. Elated, I think. It's um, a long, hard haul. We've got, for the record, we've got lots to do. I've got a team now that is just so fired up, it's unbelievable. God help industry when they turn up, because they're not going to expect students like that. I love mates back at work and they'll say, how fast did you go? And I'll say, 5.54. And they'll say, that's not very quick. What was the record? And I'll say, um, I won't look them in the eye. 21 mile an hour. <laughs> and they'll just, they'll squeal at us. They'll laugh, they'll laugh, they will, they'll laugh. Um, but what were you doing? I was having a go. How many hours combined have been spent in sheds? Welding, machining, turning, laying. Hey, we're having a go, aren't we? We're having a go. We are at the cutting edge of hydroplane development. We're doing it in our own way. Yeah. <laughs> Prototype test pilot. <laughs> That's what I am. I think it's great. It is great. Yeah, love it. You can now see why that record is 25 year old. Water is not an easy material to deal with. <laughs> <laughs>